Fayu Tech is back with a brand new gimbal. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, BMAC. And if this is your first time here to this channel, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you smash that subscribe button with all notifications turned on so that you never miss another video on this channel. And if you've been here before, or if you already subscribed, welcome back. So today in front of me, I do indeed have the Feutech AK2000C, one of the newest gimbal offerings from Feutech. First things first, a huge thank you and shout out to Feutech for sending over the AK2000C. They hit me up, they said, BMAC, we got a new gimbal. Wanna check it out? I said, yes. But first I gotta unbox it. So that is what we are going to do today. We are going to unbox the AK2000C. See what I did there? First things first, quick look at the box. You can see the gimbal right there along with some features in the bottom corner. You've got some QR codes on the left side, some more information on the right side, and on the back, the gimbal once again with, once again, some features. Along with AK2000C on the top and bottom, but enough of all those breakdowns of the box. Let's see what's actually in it. Where is my unboxing knife? Here it is. Never do that, by the way. That's that's extremely dangerous. We've got some cellophane to remove. What's the best way of doing this? I think if we just go straight up on the front first. And here we go. One. Two. And now we can take the cellophane and rip it off. Woo, baby, it's like Christmas morning ripping off cellophane like that. Oh, just realized something. We're gonna need the knife again just to get this little section taken care of. Okay. And now for the AK2000C reveal. Here we go. There it is, the AK2000C gimbal. All oh, that wood accent, man. I love wood. You wanna make me happy with any kind of product, just incorporate wood into it somehow. But before we get to the gimbal itself, you will see with this little quick start guide, it is, well, exactly that, a quick start guide. You open this up, it'll tell you about how to actually quickly experience your gimbal, an overview of all the different parts, moving pieces, along with some QR codes that you could scan if you want to. So there it is, the quick start guide. We will take a closer look at this later. In the box, the fun part. All right, here we go, taking out the AK-2000C, <gasps> that wood, that feeling, that touch screen. So many cool things about this gimbal. Wow, right out of the box. I like the build quality, feels good. It feels right in your hand. I love this area right here with the wood. That just, that just feels good. So this is obviously the gimbal itself, little cellophane to remove on that touch screen. We will place this down for just a quick second to see what else comes in the box. Oh, we have a nice little tripod stand here. I actually love when a gimbal includes this because if they don't, I'm just gonna end up buying it separately. Anyway, this is incredibly important to have. Basically a little tripod stand like this will allow you to screw it into the bottom of your gimbal and then it actually serves two purposes. For one thing, it's a longer handle so now you actually could use two points of contact if you want. And then of course, since it is indeed a tripod stand, it allows you to actually stand up the gimbal, which is cool if you're doing time-lapse kind of work. Or just a way to put it down quickly, like I just did. In the box you will see, looks like a USB-A to USB-C cable right here. Why can't I undo it? There we go, looks like a foot USB-A to USB-C cable, nice. This is gonna be to actually charge up your gimbal, by the way, there's a little USB-C port, so charging cord, essentially. You will see a whole bunch of different cables right here. Looks like we have a USB-C to what is this one? USB-C to micro USB. So I'm assuming this is for communication between the gimbal and your camera, which is one of the features you have with this gimbal. And then it seems you have a USB-C to 2.5 millimeter jack. So you have this too. And there we got a couple more cables to talk about. A USB-C to multi right there. This appears to be a USB-C to TRS 2.5 millimeter right there. And then last but not least, a USB-C to USB-C. So obviously a charging cable and then a bunch of different data cables to actually help the gimbal, again, communicate between the gimbal itself and the camera. So we got all those, I'll put that to the side right there. And then also, right here, we actually have some lens support and what appears to be, okay, some hardware here to make sure everything connects together. And then this is, uh-huh, indeed, your quick release plate. So you're actually gonna attach this plate to the bottom of your camera and this will allow you to quickly and easily 
slide it onto the gimbal. And last but not least, a hex adjustment little tool. <laughs> I have a bunch of these around, but it's always nice to have these included because there are sometimes little micro adjustments you need and rather than go looking for the dozen other ones you have but don't know where they are, you have one included. And that is it. That is all that comes in the box. Pretty simple, but this is what we really want to take a look at. So you guys have seen my other videos about Feiyu Tech gimbals on this channel and one of the features I love in any gimbal is a touch screen Awesome to see one included here on the AK2000C. That makes switching between modes or locking in certain settings so easy, so seamless. And that is immensely helpful for when you're on the go, kind of running and gunning it and everything you could possibly want to see is right there. You also have your joystick and then you have your very clicky, very responsive function, shutter and mode buttons right there. Along with your power button on the right side and of course your USB-C port right there. And then on the back, your trigger button which is so helpful for when you're actually using the gimbal. I use that so much and it's just so perfectly placed on these gimbals. Let me just say Feiyu Tech knows what they're doing when it comes to the different button placements and having all those right within reach of your fingers. And you've probably already noticed by now these locking axes here as well. These make it so easy to close down your gimbal and actually travel with it so that it's portable and takes up less space, but also those locking axes help you balance the camera on your gimbal incredibly easily as well. And then of course, you wanna make sure that it's easy to slide forward and back all the different axis parts of the gimbal itself, which it seems that they are. Now, if you bear with me a second, just to show you guys how this works, I'm gonna snap my fingers, and when I'm done snapping my fingers, we're gonna have a camera balance on this thing ready to go. Ready? Check it out. And we are good to go, look at that, look at that is a gimbal right there. Look at that, I'm shaking like crazy, it's staying normal. But right off the bat you could see the range you have to work with here. You could do a lot of cool camera moves with this gimbal right here, I'll tell you that much. But there we go, I am all set, I could go shoot a vlog on this right now if I wanted to, boom! The Feiyu Tech AK2000C. As always, if you guys are interested in finding out more information about this bad boy right here, or just to snag one for yourself, you guys could always head to my affiliate link, bmac.link slash AK2000C, bmac.link slash AK2000C, or as always, there will be a clickable link in the video description box below as well, so check that out. And with all that having been said, and this puppy ready to go, ooh, I'm pumped. I'm gonna go take this outside and start playing with it right now. I will see you guys in my next video. That's fun. I wanna do that like a hundred times. Okay, chill out. I just got the gimbal. Relax, BMAC.